program shares a story about recruiting community youth into LDS scouting units. After viewing this story, you will understand how to engage local school leaders to schedule a recruiting night, create and deliver a boy talk, access resources from your local Boy Scouts of America Council to help with recruiting, conduct a recruiting night event. We hope you take this story to heart and help grow the scouting movement in order to make the world a better place. Well, I feel very strongly about this, uh, of recruiting non-LDS boys into your troops and into your dens. The reason why is it benefits everyone. It benefits us where we get the critical mass, we get the additional boys, we get to have more fun uh, in our activities, and uh, we get to know more people out in the community. And we're trying to be more outreaching and less insular. And, uh, and this is a great opportunity to do that. It, but it needs priesthood leadership support. So stake presidencies need to support it and show that support. Bishoprics need to support it, actively talk about it, actively uh, encourage it, and then all the way down to the scout and, and den leaders as well. The LDS stake in Suarita, Arizona, has recruited more than 150 community boys into their Cub Scouting units over the last few years by following the traditional Boy Scouts of America recruiting model. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel. You have to work with the district membership committee and plan a recruitment night. You have to figure out what night's gonna be good. Typically Boy Scouts do spring recruiting or fall recruiting and both. Um, and y you need to avoid community activities and school activities, maybe school state testing, all that kind of stuff. And then once you've got the date nailed down, you go to the school district. You you need to request facilities. It's important that you do your recruiting at a school, at the school where these kids attend, because it takes out one of the variables in parents deciding to come to your recruitment event. If their kid comes home all excited about joining Scouts, says, Mom, Mom, I want to go, and then um, they have to juggle dinner and swim lessons and all the things that go on in the afternoon, plus find a new location that they're not comfortable with, there, you know, it's just one more thing that's going to make them say no. So if they, if you put it in the school cafeteria, they know where that is. It's not a problem. They're just going to show up. It, it helps with the, with getting people there. And um, so once you've got the facility approved, then you also need to get um, flyers made up and your council can help you with your flyers. But you have to get them approved by the district. The next step in Suarita was to schedule and deliver what the BSA calls a boy talk at the school. The important parts of a boy talk is to be in uniform. Our uniform is our universal sign for scouting. Second, be enthusiastic when you talk about our programs, about what we do in scouting, whether that be archery, BB shooting, hiking, swimming, and the last, make sure that that scout understands when, where, and what time that recruitment effort is going to happen. Hi, I'm Kirsten Sparks, and I'm from Boy Scouts of America, and I came to talk to you about Cub Scouts. But before I say anything about Cub Scouts, I want to ask you a couple of questions. How many of you like to go swimming? Awesome. How many of you like arts and crafts? Me. Me too. How many of you like to shoot BB guns? Me. How many of you like to go to camp? Me. Yeah, me too. Well, if you like that kind of stuff, then you need to join Cub Scouts because we do all that stuff. And we even build Pinewood Derby cars and race them. And we have pack meetings and campfires and all sorts of fun things. So if you want to join Cub Scouts, then you need to come to our meeting tomorrow night in the cafeteria at Anza Trail at 6 o'clock. If you come, make sure to say hi to me because I'll be so excited to see you. Guys, thanks. This is awesome. I'm glad you're here. And then you need to put together in place all of your scout leaders, your, your cub leaders that are going to come and represent each of the units that are involved. And the units that are involved will be the ones whose kids attend the school. Now, scouting is a different program than sports. And the reason for that difference is, is parent involvement. And, and the night of the event, what we do is we have our district executive come and he puts on most of the presentation. He turns the time over to us and we give instructions on how to sign up for individual units and then they're on their way. I'm an Eagle Scout. I have uh, three brothers who are Eagle Scouts. My parents were heavily involved uh, in scouting, so I appreciate what you guys are here tonight. 
Following these six steps generated proven recruiting results for the LDS stake in Suarita. Your scouting professional stands ready to assist you along the way with time, expert guidance, and resources. If I could talk to other boys that were not in Cub Scouts, what I would say to them is that Cub Scouts is really fun and they should ask their moms and dads if they could sign up. While the traditional BSA recruiting model works well, challenges can arise specific to recruiting community boys into LDS scouting units. All LDS scouting units have the opportunity to deliver a quality scouting program. A quality program means high retention and ensures a solid path to developing good citizens and leaders. It's a good idea to make an honest assessment of your program delivery and enlist your local scouting professional for help if needed. As LDS members fulfill the responsibilities of their current callings, growing LDS scouting units may experience a shortage of leaders. Try to engage community adults, notably the parents of the new recruits, to help with volunteer leadership. Who wouldn't want to recruit um, community members? I have had the opportunity to work with a bunch of leaders that aren't of our faith, and they inspire me. They're my mentors, and I want to be like them. I want to do the very best job I can, and I want everyone to be involved in scouting. Adding community boys can also place an additional unplanned financial burden on the units. LDS units pay the registration fee for the community boys, but may request a voluntary donation from each community family to offset additional program expenses. In the case of the Sorita Ward, $35 per community boy covered the additional cost. This voluntary donation can be collected at the initial school night recruitment. Try to be transparent with the families about the financial expectation. Some community families may have concerns about their son joining an LDS scouting unit. What I learned from having a other boy from a different faith in our unit is that some people worship God in different ways than what we do in church. But do we have some similarities? Address such concerns directly and assure parents that their sons will experience the blessings of scouting in a safe and secure environment. Some families have even joined the church of their own volition and been baptized as they learn more about the church through scouting. God thinks about Cub Scouts as having, is learning, learning new things and doing new things and having fun. I think as we have an obligation to reach out to families. That's what we do as members of the church. And getting non-LDS families involved not only helps us, because we get to know them. They're, they're just like us. They want the best for their boys. They want something that is of value. Scouting is a tremendous way to strengthen families and to strengthen the principles, moral principles that boys and young men have. Contact your local scouting professional for more information about resources for recruiting and training. We have the chance now to reinvigorate the greatest youth program in the world with your dedication and help.